Hi YouTube, Jack Blanchard here. It's been a while. Um, I just want to say hi, hello and thank you and uh, congratulations to uh, Israel for their 70th anniversary and the dedication of the U.S. Embassy in Jerusalem. I think that's awesome. Um, I was listening to uh, Sister Katie did yesterday through Barry Scarborough. He put one of her videos on online and it got me thinking. She, she did a lot of uh, research. She talked about you know, Pentecost as being a possible rapture, and she alluded to Prophecy Watchers, a video that they did, which is intriguing. So I checked it out, and um, she's not, and I'm not saying that the rapture is going to happen on Pentecost, but there were a lot of things that happened on Pentecost. Uh, Pentecost this year is Sunday, the 20th, May 20th, and... Um, I watched Prophecy Watchers, uh, and I'll try to put the link below, that, and a lot of things kind of struck at me. Now, a couple things were, one, David, King David, was born on Pentecost. And it just so happened that 70 years later on Pentecost is when he died. Okay? Israel was born on Pentecost. Now, let me go into that, because a lot of reports say that Israel was born on May 14th, 1948. That was the UN vote, okay? May 14th. That was actually the 5th of Sivan, um, and Pentecost was the next day, the 6th of Sivan, because Pentecost is always on the 6th of Sivan. Now, but, the U.S., Later that day, the U.S. recognized Israel as a state. The declaration that was made six months earlier was scheduled to expire at midnight. So, at midnight, May 14th, going into May 15th, Israel became a nation. So, at midnight, May 14th, if Israel became a nation, this is in, in New York time, because UN is in New York, it's already May 15th in Israel. Israel is five hours ahead of New York, I believe. So it's already the 6th of Zavon. So I hold, without too much research, that... Israel was born on Pentecost. Now, 70 years later on Pentecost is this Sunday, May 20th. Now, <clears throat> I'm not sure what's going to happen on May 20th, but I do know that what did happen on Pentecost was a lot of Arab nations attacked Israel on Pentecost the very next day on May 15th. They attacked Israel because they refused to allow Israel to have land to become a state. It just so happened that Resolution 181, if you read it on, read up on it, it granted Palestine also to become a state. People say that, you know, the Jews have been taking the land of Palestine, but that's not true. Many times Land had been granted and given, and statehood has been given to Palestine, but they refuse to take it because that's not what they're after. They're after demolishing Israel. So they attacked Israel, and um, the very next day, I think it was like hours later, five hours later. So with that, I would please say a prayer for Israel in these times because prophetically speaking, you know, is Ezekiel 37, 10 through 14, it was prophesied that Israel would be brought back to life from dry bones. In Isaiah 66, 7 through 8, Israel would be born in a day. I don't know a lot about prophecy, but I do know God used types and shadows and foreshadowing. And if 70 years ago, after the declaration on Pentecost, 
of Israeli becoming a state, they were attacked, then this Pentecost, May 20th, might be a day, a very, a very good day to pray for the safety of Israel and the Palestine people. So, I just wanted to get that out there. It's please do your own research on this. This is this was a I, I I was thinking about this. God gave it to me. I said, Lord, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna put it out there. I don't know if it's completely true, uh, but I trust Him and the information that He gives me, um, and that's something that I'm working on with Him. That you know, if He gives me information, I'm gonna get it out there and. That's why you see a lot of these people out there with their dreams and their vision. God gives them dreams and visions because they put them out there. They, she, they share them for us. So I'm going to share this with you. Please pray for Israel this Pentecost. It's a very important day. It was something two days ago I didn't even realize. I knew Pentecost was coming up, but I didn't realize the link to Israel becoming a nation, to 70 years, and David... Um, I'm not saying Israel is going to be defeated. God protects Israel. But God said that a generation is, what, of a man? If I, remember, I don't remember the exact passage, but it's 70 years. But in strength and in grace, I believe, it could be 80 years. And Israel is definitely strong. God's hand of protection is over Israel. But nevertheless... They're going through a tough time and battling already. So pray for them. Pray for them. All right. God bless you guys. Take care. Please turn your lives over to Christ. Everyone knows. Everyone feels. Everyone sees that Christ is coming. Is right around the corner. He's at the door. So God bless you guys. And I love you guys. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.